Democrats and Republicans both refusing to back down as tomorrow's debt ceiling deadline looms. This, the first real test to Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy's leadership. Yeah, all this happening while the Treasury Department warns that the country will hit the $31.4 trillion borrowing cap tomorrow. Joining us, us to discuss, uh, former advisor to Margaret Thatcher and President Donald Trump, John Brown. Columnist for the American Spectator, Jeffrey Lord. And Jeffrey, I'm going to start with you on this one. Uh, uh, because all of us uh, here, maybe not you, have, have seen this battle going on because we're older. Uh, I knew we've where seen you were going battle. with that, but thank you for clarifying. I got out of there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for, we've seen this go on for years and years. Eventually, they'll cave in. But, Jeffrey, at a certain point, Republicans actually have to get back to their brand of actually caring about how much they spend. This might be a good opportunity for Kevin McCarthy if he doesn't misplay it, right? That's, that's right. And one of the things I learned from observing these battles over the decades is to say that you're not going to negotiate is, in fact, the first step in negotiating. Uh, they, they all say they're not going to do it, and then the circumstances creep up on them, and they're forced to do it. And, of course, nobody wants to, nobody on either side wants to cause some sort of massive uh, financial upheaval. So the pressure will be on them. Somewhere down the road, they will come to an agreement. But cutting spending, I imagine, of some, in some form, will have to be part of the deal. John, uh, I want you to listen to what the White House had to say on this topic yesterday. Take a listen. It was reported that Republicans have so-called plan to prioritize payments if Congress fails to address the debt ceiling. So I want to be very, very clear here, as I have been, as the president has been, uh, this is not a plan. It is a recipe for economic catastrophe. As President Biden has made clear, Congress must deal with the debt limit and must do so without conditions. Uh, a recipe for economic catastrophe, so says uh, the White House. Your thoughts on this one, John? Well, uh, it does have a recipe, is a recipe for catastrophe if it gets out of hand. I agree entirely with what Jeffrey said, but this floating debt ceiling points to two fatal weaknesses of our whole democratic system. One is multi-term career politicians uh, who vote for extra, uh, are fearful, just as Jeffrey said. And the other is the misconception that only taxpayers pay the bill. In fact, mm. everyone pays the bill because of a depreciating currency. And so I agree with Jeffrey. I think the debt ceiling will be lifted after a lot of shouting and uh, some minor adjustments, uh, and, and it, it will be, over time, it will be phased up, of course, and, of course, it will result in the credit rating it, it will be threatened, but it's already been lowered. S&P lowered us to double A, so it's already a split rating, but it is a serious point. And uh, the time limit, of course, I don't think is is real. No. I think it's probably more like September, October rather than tomorrow. Well, yeah. And most importantly, the Marxists who control the Democrat Party actually want the central banks to destroy fiat currencies in favor of this new central bank digital currency, which is the ultimate control of the individual that Stalin could have only dreamed of. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the debt limit, the debt ceiling limit. Uh, allows us to borrow up to a certain limit. Uh, We're certain reaching limit. the okay. end of that. And so that's what needs to be raised. Mm -hmm. uh, the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is saying tomorrow is a deadline. you got to get it done. The fact is we probably have some money, especially after April, you have a lot more money coming in. So we do have money to last us later in the year. Uh, but I guess the reason I find it interesting, Jeffrey, is Republicans... Uh, can't get out of taking some blame, including under Mr. Trump. They spent a lot of money we didn't have, drove up the, the, the debt even more. And at what point does that stop? At what point are they willing to go back to, like, what happened with Clinton as president, but Republicans uh, in the Congress saying, quit spending so much, we're going to balance the books for a change? Yeah, well, that's what has to happen. And when you think of all the negotiations that went on between Bill Clinton and Newt Gingrich, as, as the new Republican House Speaker, uh, it changed the dynamic there. Yeah. 
and and but but always key in this are the constituents of members of Congress. And I think I've told you before, when I worked on the House Budget Committee staff for a congressman, his constituents from a very conservative area would come in, praise him, praise President Reagan to the you know to the hilt, and then say, but you know this one program, Congressman, we don't want you to cut it. We in fact we'd like you to add to it. And you multiply that by 435 members of the House. <laughs> yeah. You see the problem. Yeah. Yeah, and John, your your final thoughts on this? What's going to happen? Will an agreement be reached? It seems like we think yes, but again, uh, not without some yelling and screaming well, and disagreeing. The debt ceiling will be raised after a lot of shouting and and things like that, and minor adjustments. The question is which adjustments? Hmm. Yeah. And the credit rating will be threatened, but I doubt if it'll be dropped this time yeah. by uh, things. But importantly, I think most importantly, it's beginning of the end of fiat currency and mm. the introduction mm. of the greatest fraud of all, which is central bank digital currencies. Well, we'll and, see. We'll see if that's uh, the direction. That's another conversation, which yeah. we certainly will have, John, because uh, I think that's interesting to see where they, they definitely want to have one. They, they don't want crypto to take off. They want actually their own digital currency, but that's another. And there are reasons to believe there is some value in that. But um, there, will, there will be much grinding and gnashing of teeth in the coming <laughs> weeks. So uh, thank you so much, gentlemen. Hey, guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text. Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532.